going Joey. to pass the sport category off to Adam. You got this. No, you Fuck don't. me in the Adam. You got this. Give me the Adam. I didn't say sports in my profile, Sean. Message. She lying. Naturals always have to outshine everyone else in order to be even noticed. If I looked a different way, then someone would be like, oh my God, she's hilarious and she's so talented. But the fact of the matter is, people treat fat people like crap. So I'm going to show up as thin. Because you know what? I would do the exact same thing. I would be a catfish. Because what you don't understand, Wesley Henderson, is that fat people, well, bigger people, because I don't want to say fat, bigger people do have to go above and beyond just to be looked at as regular. Not with me. Not with me that's you, but that's not, you not all of society. So I can say how I feel, goddammit. But you can't dismiss her feelings. Let's go to the cute, let's go to hell. Right. The, Let's go the to the one with the pretty the eyes the and like and like Sean said with the abs and all that. The Point blame period. I ain't vibing with nobody that's a catfish. Hey, what's up? AConnectionTV.com is a new online streaming network of diverse content. You've heard of Netflix and Hulu. Well, now there's a connectiontv.com. Imagine an online streaming network that housed original web shows and movies that you could actually relate to. Adopting similar connections despite our differences. Drama, comedy, cartoons, romance, a little nudity here and there, action, exclusive interviews, and more are all here on a connectiontv.com. Connect with the fellow supporters of the network through forums online posted throughout the week. Let your voice be heard. Subscription is only $7.99 a month, and there are uploads every Wednesday. Hey, I mean $7.99, that's less than a drink at the bar. Or a meal at, say, Wendy's. Have you ever watched cable, Netflix, or Hulu? Wondered, where was your story? <laughs> well, I can see me. 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 I can see me. I can see me. I can see me. Well, I can see me on A Connection TV. <laughs> Subscribe today and you won't regret it. And hashtag stay connected. What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley, from AConnectionTV.com and AConnectionTV here on YouTube, the two places on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. Follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at AConnectionTV, and let's get going. Now, my last video that I did on The Circle got over 2,000 views, which is pretty pretty respectable uh, because I'm doing a new show review, um, and over 43 comments. So, shout out to y'all for commenting. Let's get into it. A couple of y'all comments just to see what y'all are saying. Courtney writes, I hope the US audience like The Circle because the UK version won me over and the first four episodes on Netflix was really good. Lady Cyro Cryo says, Seaburn fumbled so many times and they still don't know he's a catfish. Lord Facepalm first Mesa was asking if Chris was cute. Um, John's Gaming, I don't know why they keep adding more characters. Like I thought the point was to keep eliminating until there's a couple left. I thought so too. James uh, Pandaloni Jr. said that this show is a campy mess and I'm here for it. Though I'd say Joey is a Guido stereotype. He's not frat boy. Do works as a bartender. Frat boys are usually rich, elite, and what? Okay, I could, I could, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could I could say that I could see that um, Itty bitty Lex says I actually have grown to like them all they are all dope in their own ways Joey took the most time to like though these new two people got me confused How long will this season be right Taryn study says now? I disagree about Twitter Twitter is for the T and funny memes Twitter gets all the good stuff first. Okay, Gabriel Nobre says I want you on that show listen Okay I would do bomb if I was on that show. Reason why I say that is because I always know who's the last person. I always get it right and I always get the top two right. Based on what they show us via editing, you can get a sense of what's happening and who's going to be placed where. I mean, I've been around so many different personalities, it would be hard for me not to make it remotely far. And I'm not even trying to toot my own horn, I'm just saying. Let's talk about episodes 
five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. Somebody was in the comments talking about I'm too long-winded, but bruh, if you're reviewing four freaking episodes and they're all an hour long, it's me giving you a 28-minute film, a video, it, it's what it is. So we start this episode, episode five, off with Adam, AKA Alex, a new guy into the house. Of course, he picks this fit, attractive guy. And before, before I even get all into that, I'm gonna say this real quick. I don't like any of the catfishes. None of them. One of my actors on AKNationTV.com, him and I always like bump heads. I feel like I have a more open view of things and he has a more one-way view of things, if that's if that makes any sense. Like, I'm able to see all sides and he's able to see his side. Majority of the time. And that'd be the only side he's able to see. And so we were talking about the catfishes, because I made this review and, and everybody saw my review. And so people from AConnectionTV.com went to go watch The Circle based on my review. Rico had already saw it and he told me to watch it. So I was like, okay, let me watch it. And so uh, on my first review, I was going hard on the catfishes. Karen, Seaburn, all the catfishes. And I just don't respect any of them. Okay, and in my first review, I was like, I don't like the fact that she's more of a catfish because she basically says that she um, doesn't feel like her her visual will be appealing and she wanted to look a certain way and blase, blase, whatever. And I'm just like, okay, not feeling it, not feeling the vibe. So him and I were having discussions about catfishes and he feels like that's the point of the show. And I'm like, no, that's not the point of the show. The point of the show is not to be a catfish. The point of the show is to be liked and be picked in the circle and make it to the end. Now, a part of the show uh, allows you to be a catfish if that's how you want to play the game. But that's not how you're supposed to play the game. And he's like, yeah, that's how you're supposed to play the game. That's what the game is. And I'm like, no, it's not. Okay? No, it's not. But anyways, I respect everybody that comes on and they are authentically themselves playing the game. I don't like any of the catfishes. I want to make that clear. So Adam is in that boat where I don't like him at all. Alex, Adam, I don't, I don't know, whatever the freak his name is. Um, you know, he's looking through the people and he has to invite three people to a chat and Adam asks for the ladies and his group chat and he's you know, looking at Miranda's photo and he's trying to do the, the, the boomerang Miranda dance, has no rhythm whatsoever. He asks the lady in the ladies in the group chat if they arouse him, like how how could they arouse him? Like I'm like, wait, what? And it's like funny how they speak to each other because as soon as like my response is normally the person's response when they come back. And our vibes with Sammy all the way. And Sammy was like aroused, like what? Adam asks what the what's the craziest romp? you've ever done and none of the ladies know what romp is not even mercy uh no what's her name karen not even karen knows what romp is sammy didn't even know what a romp is they started talking about threesomes and rebecca was like i don't never tell a, a good girl never doing i don't kiss and tell um sammy was like who hasn't done a threesome um they were getting a little freaky with their conversations so you know after he has this conversation or whatever he ends up speaking to rebecca and he picks out rebecca and and I'm and in my mind I'm like of course it's the two catfishes talking like they're so real and so authentic and 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 they're these people that they're portraying that they're having a conversation I was completely annoyed I'm completely annoyed with the catfishes and then Seaburn really aggravated my eyes because his lips were so chat there was like one scene where he came back and his lips were cracked all the way through and I'm like what is going on bro you're on Netflix like you have to make sure you you know because I I'm a victim of cracked lips, you know what I'm saying? My lips are huge. Oh, they're huge. So I always have to keep my Carmex with me. Adam starts talking to the guys and Joey automatically seems so enthusiastic and and ready to talk to, to Adam. And Rico had a good point. He had a good point. He mentioned the fact that Joey had such a hard time talking to Antonio and didn't like Antonio off the rip. Then Adam comes in and he likes Adam off the rip. This is Rico. This is, you know, I didn't even think like this, but this is Rico. And what he said didn't make sense. Also, uh, what we noticed is that Joey never or has not on, on any of the edit um, had a single conversation with any of the black women or Antonio. It just never happened. And I was like, wow, that's 
true. Everybody else has had an individual conversation with the people of color. And not to make this a whole race thing, but when Rico mentioned that, I was really caught off guard because I'm like, wow, he hasn't. We get to this hashtag game. I thought it was very, very interesting because if they placed a hashtag on the, like their thoughts of who they, you know, what they thought of the people in the house or whatever in the circle, it would be anonymous. And it was unanimous that everybody thought that Mercedes was a catfish. And I was like, she is. She most certainly is. Mercedes was just like, well, if you are about that, then let me know what you really feel like. Don't be anonymous. Come out. And Joey was like, yeah. I'll do it. It's like, you know, the the faker, the berry, the the whatever he said. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, hmm, very interesting how they pinpointed Mercedes to be the catfish. With all the conversations that Karen was having with everybody in the house or the lack thereof, it was evident that he was that he that she was only liked by one person, really, and that was Chris. And I love Chris. I think Chris is really cool. Karen ends up getting the boot, and actually I was excited that she got the boot. I was very let down by Karen. Yes, I understand that even in today's world, we struggle with visuals, the visuals of ourselves. Uh, but I feel like moving into 2020, being um, a part of the LGBT community, you should not, in your 30, give two freaking Fs about what people think about you. Because she's not, and she's not 20 something. I don't, I don't, no, I don't think she's 20 something. So you should not be in your 30s still caring about what people think of you. Like, I was gonna say, yeah, I do understand, and I don't, you know? But the similar connection that I can adopt with her is finding a place to move on into a more confident stance for yourself as a person. Like, find, find the reasoning for going on this show to showcase that you can be who you are without worrying about any opinion or anything. You know what I'm saying? And, and that really, that I really felt bad for her and I was really agitated and aggravated with her because she kept trying to make it seem, not make it seem, kept saying that, you know, who I was when I was typing was me. Just the visual wasn't me. And I'm like, bruh, no, stop, cut it out. I'm glad you're leaving. I looked at her and I was like, yo, she's super dope and super cool. And even Chris was like, you know, um, I would have loved you regardless. But of course, you know, she gave her spill. Well, you know, this is how I feel. And so Antonio and Chris was like, okay, I get it. No, f all of that. No, I don't get it, sis. You are beautiful. You are dope. You don't need to worry about people looking at you and, and feeling some sort of way. But what are we like? No, not in your 30s, ma'am. No, ma'am. Miranda and Sammy having the emoji contest uh, with Joey was funny. The fact that Joey didn't even know what the freak uh, the emoji for uh, a pecker was, was hilarious. From what I was told, Adrian was there. Adrian's my casting director for AConnectionTV.com. She said she saw an interview from the UK, one of the UK cast, and they were saying that it was very, very hot in there. Um, they can't listen to music. They can't watch TV. They get bored out of their mind But they do get to eat whatever they want to eat Of course you see them cooking all the time because that's pretty much all that they are able to do is cook I wonder how long this show lasts. I can't really see them being gone for that long Sitting in that room not being able to associate with anybody two new people come up Sean and Bill right away because I had this crazy conversation with Rico soon as Sean came across my screen I was like, okay, she about to have a big girl complex and she's about to be a catfish and sure enough Sure enough. She was a freaking catfish and I was so annoyed because she came across my screen all like Lizzo and all like proud of herself We are women hear me roar and she had a freaking shirt on that said thick Thick something, thick lives matter, something thick lives matter, I don't know, something about thickness. Right away, I'm like, sis, shut up, because you're sitting here as a catfish. She had the audacity to say, I work for this organization where we empower women to be themselves, and so many women know me and follow me, and I'm like the spokesperson for this fashion clothing line, and she has all these gorgeous uh, photos of her in these fashions. But then she puts this skinny ass girl on screen that just looks so like, what? Oh, I was so pissed. And I automatically, I'm like, get this broad off my screen. Like I'm cussing, I'm aggravated. Rico all upset. Cause he's like, see, you don't understand what big people go through. You don't understand what big people go through. Yeah, I, I don't cause I'm not big. But at the end of the day, I know what skinny people go through. And he's like, I, I don't, the skinny people ain't got no problems and all this. I'm like, okay. First of all, what you're not going to do is, is discount someone's issues. You, you can't do that. Especially if you don't know 
what they've gone through. And I'm not sitting here discounting uh, the issues that bigger people go through. I'm not even discounting what Karen thought she had to go through because I know exactly what she's going through. I'm black and I'm LGBT. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what um, uh, Sean is going through, but I can tell you that in today's world, in today's society, it's all about being yourself authentically all the freaking time. Catfishes are so lame. Period. Bill, we, Bill came on the screen, and immediately I was like, oh, he fine. He, he was beautiful, beautiful eyes, and he, he came on as himself. And you know, Rico was like, oh, well, he could be himself, cause look at him. Look, you, you didn't say, you didn't say Sean was beautiful. You didn't say Sean was beautiful. Okay, I have a preference, and that's not what I prefer. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just not, you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't, everybody don't look at me and say I'm fine and I'm, I'm handsome and I'm beautiful. Some people think I'm ugly as shit. Okay, that's your preference. Sean ain't nothing I prefer. Not a one. At all. And that's okay. But I still want her to be authentically herself. So they have some trivia game where Bill and Sean are the captains and they have to create the teams. Um, I thought this was pretty dope because it reminded me of the challenge. I love the challenge. I actually can't wait for the, that season 35 of the challenge to start. Joey doesn't end up getting picked, but he ends up getting placed on Sean's team. And Sean, Sean's team ends up actually winning, which was dope. And what happened after that was that they were able to get a video from home. And I thought Sammy's story was really, really heartfelt. You know, she got a video from her aunt. Her aunt had been taking care of her because her parents died. And her aunt uh, decided to take care of her in her 20s. And I thought I thought that whole story was pretty, pretty cool. Seaburn trying to convince these ladies that she he knows what having uh, cramps is like and going through your period is like was so like, come on, ladies. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know this man is like fake. First of all, she too. Night. Two night. Come on. No dimension whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has said something far left. But Rebecca, she is not real. She's not real at all. Y'all can't see that? Like, what are we talking? I just, I, I, I could not, I, I, I would have called her out a long time ago. I just would have called her out. I liked the twist on the, the last, the, the second episode where um, Shubham and Joey end up getting picked. I called it. Miranda got last. I, I called that. I thought it was cool how they had to pick one, just like they did in the teams, pick one of the person that they wanted to stay, and the last person got ousted. Uh, Miranda ended up getting ousted, but before Miranda got ousted, Chris made a comment that kind of made me feel some sort of way. And um, he said, Chris says, it feels like, I feel like I'm at the STD clinic waiting for my results. I was just like, really, bro? That was just, I was, that was so corny to me. That was so corny to me because I'm part of the LGBT community and like people automatically, generally speaking, attach clinics to homosexuals. And I was just, I was just really annoyed by that comment. It just, I felt some sort of way about it. Did I understand what he meant? Of course I did, duh but I still felt like he could have said something completely else. Joey ends up saving Sammy and Chris. Shubham saves Rebecca and Adam. Miranda is going home. Miranda goes to see Joey and they have an intimate moment. They kiss. Ed is a new one at it. Ed is by far one of the, the sexiest person that's coming across. I think Ed is way sexier than even Antonio. Ed is sexy. Um, you know, but he comes on with his mom and the whole emojos. I was like, wait a minute. But then I was, I was kind of caught off guard because I'm like, how far are they going to bring the circle? Like we're bringing guests on and we're coming in the house with our moms now. I'm like, how do, like, is he the son of one of the producers? I don't understand it. I don't get the rules. I, I just, I don't understand it. Here we are. Now y'all know what I said about catfish. Y'all know how I feel about the catfishes. Karen, Sh uh, Sh uh, Sh Seaburn. Adam, Sean, don't like them, don't give a damn about them and their feelings, okay? Here we are, Miss Sean come through, Miss Queen Caucasian Lizzo, okay? Empowering women, be you, love your body, love the skin you're in, hear me roar, but the broad comes on as a catfish, okay? Complete disrespect, don't like her no more, can give two Fs about her. But here's the, here's the gotcha. She understands that it's not okay. It's not okay to proclaim self-independence and, 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 and being you and you not being you on the freaking show. Okay? So she feels some sort of way about it. And I'm like, oh, shoot. What's going on? She got a secret she wants to tell the ladies. And I'm like, oh, snap. 
My respect level goes up for her, and I'm like, come on, girl. Come on, let's go, sis. Let's go, sis. And Sean does it. She confesses that she is a catfish, and she shows her real picture. Immediately, I'm hooting and hollering for this girl. I'm like, that's how you're supposed to live in life. Be happy with who you are. And if you're not happy with who you are, then you can change all of it. But be you. God damn it, you don't need to catfish. The hell are we all? We're in 2020, people catfishing. Makes no damn sense. And I love the picture she chose. It was amazing. Sean, I'm here for you, sis. I wish Karen would have freaking did that. I wish she would have did that. It bothers me that she did not. Yes, I can get it and all that crap, but no, no. Not in the 30s, sis. Not in the 30s. What are we doing? Anyways. That's my quick little review of The Circle, the last four episodes. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so good, it's so freaking good, and you should watch it because it makes you, it makes you think about how you view others on your social media. Leave your comments below, and also, hold on before you go, if you are an artist, an independent artist, a local artist, a new artist, and you want your video seen, definitely DM me at actv.go, that is my Instagram for aconnectiontv.com, which is my online streaming network. We have created the Artist Spotlight, where you can showcase your your music videos for free on the network to get it seen by a wide, diverse audience. So if you're interested in that, go to the AConnectionTV.com Instagram, ACTV.go, and send your DM inquiring. Love you guys. Leave your comments below. Deuces.